Our members work with three and a half thousand youth clubs across the UK and they are often in areas of particular social deprivation where issues for young people around their mental health and well-being will be particularly prevalent. 44% of youth clubs are in geographical locations around deprivation and so being in those positions, being able to support young people who are going through difficulties at home, they're, they're just very well placed. Mental health problems are the last to be. We often don't talk about it. One of the big campaigns for the Time to Change programme at the moment is, you know, it's time to talk. Let's start a conversation about mental illness. I think the youth clubs um, provide a, a really good service for dealing with mental health issues and um, emotional well-being. I think young people here at the Crew Club um, often come in with a, a range of issues, bullying, it could be someone's got low self-esteem. I was getting picked on and everything, he helped quite a lot with my issue about it, like because like I never used to come in because of the person, so I used to never come in, but every day I came in, yeah, Kevin just sat down and talked to me and just asked what's wrong, so I thank him quite a lot. There's the whole issue around youth unemployment at the moment, loads of young people, whether they've got a degree or not, have been knocked back from job interviews, not even getting an interview or work placement nowadays, that's having a massive impact on, on mental health issues. If young people try to get jobs and they can't actually get any because they're always wanting experience, they might feel kind of useless of themselves. There is a uniqueness of a relationship between a young person attending a youth club and the worker with whom they will be involved. I feel a lot safer here than I do in like just talking to my friends and stuff. And at home it's sort of a difficult situation as it is, so I'd, I'd rather come here to talk to them. The first point of contact is to have you know, supporting workers, youth workers that can actually talk to a young person outside of their family circle and have that autonomy and I think that's really important. They might talk early with the other young people who um, they are at youth clubs with, maybe about some of the issues that might be emerging for them. One of my close friends, older brother died and like that person is like really close to me and I do they understand how it can be because they have lost some people in their lives and we we do feel like we're connected. Our clubs and our workers within our clubs are supporting those young people and we wanted them to be able to do this more effectively and from a position of having a knowledge of some expertise and some skills in that area. London Youth is a network of over 400 clubs throughout London and we are able to bring youth workers together. Uh, we can run training for youth workers. Uh, in our we deliver national qualifications for youth workers, and we can cascade some of this information uh, down and support youth workers to learn about mental health issues. We would ideally like to be able to work with our members to roll out a national training programme which would provide increased confidence for youth workers in identifying and supporting young people with mental health issues and how they present themselves. We have already run a pilot and would ideally like to be able to offer this wider than just our membership to the voluntary youth sector.